afternoon friends welcome to concepts of geology online classes this is the online platform where we are learning the subject through a series of comprehensive classes in the last class we have discussed about the fundamental definitions of ore gang proto ore by product etc etc so now we know what does an ore mean remember we concluded the definition of ore as a mineral from which we can extract metal or a group of metals in present techno economic social condition of the nation through a process which must be a profit making one okay i am emphasizing on the term profit and from here the next question of the subject is originating which factors make a mineral deposit profitable or potential for mining so up to the last class we have completed the first two bullets and in this class we are going to start the last bullet of the module 1 that is the introduction okay so this is the topic for today let's start there are a lot of factors which make a mineral deposit profitable for mining we will discuss one after another okay the first one is the grade fine what does grade mean the grade is the concentration of metal in an ore concentration of metal in an ore is called its grade fine it is expressed as percentage or in terms of ppm parts per million the process of determining the concentration is called assaying okay assaying fine the minimum concentration which is necessary to continue a mine with profit is called cut off grade cut off grade this is what minimum grade for profit now this definition of grade is fine but we need a more discussion on the point of grade and cut off grade for better understanding some simple numerical problems are also asked in university or suppose in comparative exams like net or gate from this topic also although this will be discussed in very vast when we will be on mineral exploration but now a little discussion will strong our understanding most of the students poses a huge confusion about grade if the grade is the percentage of metal in ore then we must have a definite grade for each ore because we know ores are nothing but minerals and minerals have a definite chemical compositions let me illustrate first suppose in case of chalcopyrite chalcopyrite okay this is C U F E S two, ore of copper. Okay. What will be the weight percentage of copper in chalcopyrite? Let us calculate this first. The atomic weight of copper is equal to sixty-three point five four six gram per mole. Okay. Atomic weight of iron is equal to Fifty-five point eight four seven gram per mole, and the atomic weight of sulfur is thirty-two point zero six gram per mole. Okay, so now if I calculate the weight percentage of copper in CuFeS two, copper weight percentage in CuFeS two equal to this will be 63.546 divided by the summation of the atomic weights that is 63.546 plus 55.847 plus 32.06 multiplied by 2 because we have two atoms of sulfur in chalcopyrite okay so if it 100% always okay so if i uh, complete the calculation we will have 34.63% 
Now, if this is the case, then for chalcopyrite, the grade of copper is always 34.63%. Am I wrong? We have stated the definition of grade as the concentration of metal in an ore. If it is, then in chalcopyrite, the copper grade is 34.63% and this should not vary because the formula of chalcopyrite is always remaining CuFeS2. Fine. Then, as far as my ore is chalcopyrite, how the grade of ore is varying mine to mine? What is wrong in the definition? Let's have a closer look into the definition of grade. Actually, the above stated definition may really mislead. Even this is the definition we found in textbooks. In reality, grade is the concentration of metal which will be extracted from an ore mineral in the entire host rock. Mine it in the entire host rock. In the sense of mining, host rocks are often termed as ore and this is the source of misleading. In ore geology, we should have a clear view. Remember, the host rock is containing ore mineral and as well as the gang minerals also. Host rock equal to ore mineral plus gang. Okay, so more the gang will be, less will be the metal and inferior will be the grade. Here the metal percentage in a particular ore mineral does not vary significantly, but the host rock may differ in the ore mineral concentration. Clear? No. Okay, let's take a more and more deeper look into the definition again. What normally done is we calculate the tonnage of the host rock, I mean or in sense of mining tonnage equal to tonnage equal to the volume of the host rock volume of the host rock in SI unit that is cubic meter multiplied by the bulk density of the rock bulk density this is also in SI unit that is kg per cubic meter. Okay. And we will express the unit of tonnage as ton or metric ton. Ton or metric ton. Mind it, this is not a short ton, this is metric ton equal to, this is equal to 1000 kg. Fine. Now, the grade is the weight of metal coming from the total tonnage and this will be expressed as gram per ton or suppose in terms of percentage. Now, therefore, the grade will be depending on how good the host rock is enriched in the ore mineral. So, definitely it will vary depending on the geological condition. But take a note here that the concentration of metal in the ore mineral is not varying, rather the concentration of the ore mineral in the host rock is varying, that is why my grade is varying. Let us write the definition of grade in a more scientific way. This is no doubt, okay, the concentration of metal in an ore, but actually this is the concentration of metal in the host rock. Okay, I think the confusion ends here. The grade is not the concentration of metal in the ore, rather it is the concentration of metal in the host rock. Now again, let's move to the main sequence. The minimum average grade which is needed to make a project profitable is called the cutoff grade. Okay, cutoff grade. Cutoff grade defines whether a piece of excavated rock should go to the processing plant or to the waste dump. Here, one thing should be noted, the lower the grade will be, we need a more tonnage to get a definite amount of metal to make the project profitable. Okay, the lower the grade, grade is lower, then we need a higher tonnage. They are called low-grade high-tonnage deposit. Low-grade 
high tonnage. For example, porphyry copper, porphyry copper deposit. Okay. So here the tonnage is more means my cost of mining will be more and so the cutoff grade needs to be higher. Note, I am not saying that low grade deposits have higher cutoff grade. I am only saying the ratio of cutoff grade to grade will be higher in comparison to that of a high grade low tonnage deposit. So let's note in a clear way. Fine. Grade. Tonnage and cutoff grade to grade ratio. Fine. First, my grade is lower, tonnage will be high because we need a uh, more metal to be profitable and here the cutoff grade to grade ratio will be higher fine second one my grade is high tonnage will be low these are called high grade low tonnage deposit and here the cutoff grade to grade ratio will be lower fine this is called grade tonnage relationship okay Grade tonnage relationship. I think this is enough for today. Don't worry, the first point is not this much of large. I was discussing, but in examination, you just write the definitions and keep the rest understanding in your mind. Today I am stopping here. These are some very important basic concepts. Actually my objective is not to share some informations only. Rather I want to make the subject more and more comprehensive. These discussions will help you in comparative exams and in job interviews also. Please follow and subscribe the channel and feel free to write me if you have any suggestions, advices or confusion whatever it may be. In the next class we will finish the topic. Thank you for watching.